Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I decorate my sketchbook. If you'd like to see how it's done, stay tuned. I figured this video would be a good way of introducing you guys to my world in terms of personality and my goals in life. Um, I just celebrated my 20th birthday and I'm currently a junior at a university and I am studying business, but my passion is art. So one of my long-term aspirations is to actually start my own business or sell my own art or do something with my passion and hopefully illustrate and publish my own book, fingers crossed, but that's just one of the things that I'm working towards in my life. I haven't really been taught how to draw. I've been in art classes in middle school and high school, and my middle school art teacher was amazing. Shout out to her. But as I got towards high school, I didn't really get the best art teachers. They were more critical than helpful. Like their criticism wasn't really like, oh, well, your shading would be a lot nicer if you use more pressure or if you made more highlights. It was more the lines of, oh, I don't really like that picture. Maybe you can try draw something else. And that really made me apprehensive to go to school for art because it's like, I don't really want to be told how to draw. I just want to be showed different techniques and learning like the different, the different things of what to know about art. And honestly, going to high school, the art classes that I took kind of made me refrain from taking art classes in college. But in the future, I may be willing to go and take classes on how to like do digital design or things like that so I can have quote unquote formal training but until then I'll just trial and error things like I've always been doing and we'll go on that journey together.
been an age where I quote unquote officially started drawing. I've been drawing on and off my whole life from as long as I can remember. I just didn't really get serious with my art till around maybe sophomore, junior year of high school. And honestly, it took me a long time to like consistently want to improve in my art because I would draw something and it would suck and then I would get discouraged and I'd give up for like months and then I'd come back. It's a little bit better, but it's not what I want and I'd give up again. And sometimes I do find myself slipping back into that pattern, but with this channel, I want to be able to push myself to new boundaries, especially with me wanting to turn my art into a business. I can't just abandon art projects. So hopefully this channel and my motivation and my growth as an artist and as a person will help me to mature in my art, develop my art style more, maybe explore other options, explore other mediums, and just to have fun with this channel so you guys can grow and explore with me. I do look forward to doing more with this channel. I haven't really had the time to as of late because I came into university as a sophomore. So a lot of things have been accelerated for me in terms of classes and workloads and funds of getting art supplies because as a college student, if you guys haven't gotten to college yet, I'm telling you right now, it's no joke. Like it's a fun experience. It's a new experience. I've met some pretty amazing people, but universities here take your money so word of advice if you are going to university you know don't be afraid to put yourself out there don't be afraid to make friends and experience new things but also make sure you manage your money correctly and especially as an aspiring artist there are a lot of art supplies that you may want to get that you can't afford yet so i would say to start with the quote unquote student grades or catch things on sale. Michaels and Joann's all the time have 40% off, 50% off coupons. And instead of buying a pack of Copic markers for $50, you can wait till a coupon pops up for half off and get it for $25 and slowly build up your collection. So even if you feel like you are a good artist, but it's the supplies that are limiting you, one, don't think that way. It's not the supplies, it's you. You could turn anything into gold. It's your mindset that does it. And secondly, couponing, couponing, couponing is your best friend. Like, don't depend on one place. Never just settle on one price. Always research your products and your, your crafts before you actually buy them and purchase them. I'm not saying don't experiment, don't try new things, but just make sure you're managing your money and you're investing in yourself in the right way. Because the worst feeling in the world is to get something and be like, well, dang, I could have got this for better or I could have got this for cheaper and gotten more out of it. And of course, as an artist, there's going to be some trials and errors with that. But if you're self-taught, self-supporting, if you're a student and you're struggling and things like that, and you have other responsibilities that you have to take care of, don't be afraid to make slow decisions don't be afraid to make insightful decisions don't be afraid to coupon don't be afraid to ask questions because 
asking for knowledge is the best way to find the answers in terms of googling in terms of going to stores and talking to representatives in terms of building relationship with other art friends who can maybe tell you well don't really try this brand this brand is better for your book i'm just saying you know just as an aspiring artist as a self-taught artist as a college student i understand the power of money in terms of what you need towards other responsibilities and it's hard to invest in yourself when you have so many other things to do but it can be done. I am living proof that it can be done. would like to have more videos of getting to know me just comment down below like and subscribe tell me what you think about this video if you like today's outcome please be sure to share it with other people and just spread the word and follow me on social media thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you again